Good morning, Saxon family. How you guys all doing today? Hope you're having a fantastic day. You got a smile on your face and you're ready for a brand new video. So, you guys might notice this is a little bit of a different video. It's a good old sit down video because today we're going to be talking about all the things that have happened over the last few weeks because people are making some claims saying Nick Regenis and I are bullies with how we've been treating Shallow. And, you know, I literally have a whole entire list right here of everything that has happened and what has transpired over the last few weeks and there's literally video proof that literally shows Nick and I have been right about everything because there's just a lot of people out there saying that Nick Regenis and I are bullies for how we're treating Shallow. But this list here, which is all factual, proves all of that completely wrong. Before we dive into it, make sure to drop a like on this video, hit that subscribe button, turn on all notifications so you never miss out any videos here on my channel. And also subscribe to Regenis because he is getting closer to 50,000 subs and he's giving away a PS5 at 50K. So if you want a chance to win a PS5 and you're sub to me and you're not sub to him, well, make sure you're subscribed to Regenis then. First and foremost, guys, please do me a favor. Even after this video is out and I list all the proof of everything that has happened, please do not send any hate to Shallow. I don't want these people saying, oh, you put out another video, it's going to cause more harm and hate towards Shallow. Guys, whatever you do, don't, don't go sending hate to Shallow whatsoever. Listen, I get it. He's young. He's dumb. He makes mistakes. We all do that when we're young. But also, a part of being young is learning how to grow up and learning how to take responsibility for your actions and mistakes and everything you may have done up to a certain point. So we're just going to go one by one down the list real quick here and just kind of name everything that has happened. So this first time here, Shallow broke and entered two different occasions. Number two, from the first time he was here, he was sneaking around in places he shouldn't be. I get people are going to probably be like, well, you said, listen, I, if you don't see me, I don't see you. Like, yo, I was trying to be kind at that time. I like, I just really didn't give a flying F because at that point, nothing has happened to me, nothing affected me. And, you know, I could care less what these kids are doing. Number three is obviously Grand Theft Auto. No, not the video game. Legit Grand Theft Auto stealing somebody else's vehicle. And then number four would be crashing Nick's truck into Ashley's pool. Yo, 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 yo! Oh my god! <gasps> what the? Therefore, you know, <laughs> stealing his truck and also ruining Ashley's pool. After all that happens, Shallow goes back home with his buddy Josh and everything seems good, so we think. A few weeks later, Shallow actually does return. And you know, things seem to be a little bit different this time and I genuinely actually tried to be nice to this kid. I legit paid full in cash his first month of rent into the Rigid House or the Hustler House or the Content House, wherever that is called these days. You can pay for your first month. What? Are you serious? So if this ain't, or this doesn't concern Yeah, I mean, I got you. You're a story park creator, yeah? You don't, you're not paying. I've always been Swift. You're not paying. I've always been Swift. I've always been, no, I've always been supporting story you park creators. You should be paying Swift. Oh, support story park. That's not helping. That's enabling this shit. It's a grand shirt too. What is it? What is it, a grand? Um, what, are, did your dad decide or do you decide? Or how's that work? I'm collecting. Uh, you're collecting? That was literally me giving money out of my pocket. Like, here, I believe in you. Make something out of yourself. And basically, it just all comes crashing down back into my face, basically mistaking my kindness as my weakness. Now, in his videos, he would always go and say that me and Nick would drive him to the way how he is, and we're the reason how he acts, especially me, because I literally would make deck chair jokes in my video. Listen, just as much as you want to know, guys, who deck chair is, I want to know as well. That's why I kept making deck chair jokes in my videos, hoping that, hey, the real deck chair may have seen them and basically be like, oh yeah, I'm actually deck chair. And nobody go clipping that saying that I'm deck chair. I'm referring to the person probably saying I am deck chair to reach out to me because it would be pretty cool. But like, yo, man, this is what I think Storyfire needs. And this is what I, as a creator, would like to see. So Shallow takes all those jokes very too seriously for my video and basically decides to come storming up the stairs, get in a screaming match with me and everybody upstairs on my birthday while we're trying to celebrate it, and then picks up the cake and smashes it in my face. I'm gonna give you really? one last fucking chance. I'm telling you the god I'm gonna give you I am one last fucking Bro. chance to tell this whole room that you're what? Dead chair. I am not that chair! Now some will say I was the one to put my hands first on Shallow, but 
if you go by the definition of physical assault or assault in general, uh, this classifies at it. So Shallow, therefore, was the first person to ever lay hands on me. I didn't lay my hands first on him. I always let people, like, in any kind of situation, like, yo, man, if you want to make a punch, go ahead and make a punch. Like, I'm saying out of it till you hit me. It was kind of like that. And I basically just, I bit my tongue. Obviously, I had cake all over my face, and I just sat there and I was like, okay, whatever. You're digging yourself your own grave at this point, dude. Especially after I just paid your rent. And then after all that, it would lead to him and I having this little confrontation down in the basement, but if my memory serves me right. I was trying to get home, I was trying to go get my second COVID shot, and he was literally blocking my way out of the basement up to my car so I could go get my car ready and start getting my things put in there, and he literally just blocked me would not move i was like dude please move please get out of the way and you know at this point he already has laid hands on me so i don't know what he's gonna do while he's just standing right there so instead of letting him block me i just gently moved him out of my way with my hands because as you guys have seen he put his hands on me first with the whole cake incident excuse me i gotta go to my car dude no no no, no. you can't run away from this now run away from this you're gonna block me in the own the, the house that i basically pay rent for from going up the stairs? Yeah, you fucking, you hide from your problems when I'm trying to give you a key, you hide from that. You don't want to forgive me for that. Fuck no, I'm not gonna fucking let you work. What are you doing? Listen, Listen motherfucker! I ain't taking your fucking shit. I'm taking shit from nobody. I am not your fucking punching bag. You got this? And you know what? I thought after that, things were gonna chill out, things were gonna be better. I was like, okay. Cool, I was genuinely thinking about apologizing to Shallow for that, because I did feel bad, don't get me wrong. But also at the same time, the kid smashed my cake, he's been rude at this point, I already paid his rent, and it's like, all right, I, I wanna apologize, but I don't, it's a tricky situation. And at that point, I already see people are saying we're bullying him, and that's because he's a very good manipulator, guys. He's very good at manipulating people while watching the, you're watching his videos, saying that we're doing this to him. Don't get me wrong, I know the tricks and secrets to all these YouTubers out there. So obviously after that happens, I genuinely felt bad. I thought about it on my car ride home so I'd go get my shot, and I'm like, damn, you know, I wish things could have been a little bit different right there. And you know, whatever, right? And I genuinely thought about actually apologizing for that. And I thought, I was like, well, I did pay his rent. He smashed a cake in my face. And I guess that's the kind of thank you I get. And then he's trying to block me from physically leaving the house because I have something important to do. And you know, sometimes you gotta take matters into your own hands and basically gently excuse them out of the way. Listen, I didn't punch the kid. I didn't do anything besides just literally pick him up and move him. So after all that happens, I finally return back to the rigid house, hustler house, content house, you name it, whatever you want to call it. Um, and you know, I haven't been in the house yet. I'm in the garage, I'm looking, working on my car, Nick comes, joins me. We're trying to figure out, hey, how can I replace the bumper on my car? How can we fix the top? Uh, are we gonna actually need to buy a new physical bumper? Or are we just gonna like, you know, putty it, sand it, and paint it? Get Nick's best opinion option. Shallow then comes out of nowhere and he, he starts talking with us. I'm like, yeah, what's up, dude? Da, 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 da. And next thing you know, he pulls my drone out. And I'm like, bro, that's my drone. How'd you get that? And then it clicked in my head like, yo, I locked my door before I left to go back to my hometown for a few days. And I'm like, huh, this is very, very odd to me. And then it clicked that he somehow, because we all have keys to our own room and our keys don't work on each other's doors, he somehow had to break and enter into my room to get my drone, which was under my bed at the time. Uh, I guess he just went and did some snooping around, classic shallow. And, uh, you know, I'm glad he did nothing to my setup because that setup means the absolute world to me. As you guys know, you've been able to see me live on twitch.tv slash chef saxon vlogs, um, which I plan on going live probably sometime this week. Not 100% sure yet uh, on my streaming schedule. But uh, it clicked to me like, all right, so he obviously was in my room. He found that I was under my bed. He did some snooping around. And basically, he just starts getting angry with us. I'm like, dude, calm down, put my drone down. This drone means the absolute world to me. At the time, I bought that drone. I really didn't have much money to my name. And it was at, it seemed like, you know, a stupid buy because everybody was always like, yeah, if you want to make money, you got to spend money. Ain't that much of the truth right there. Um, so I was dumb, didn't have much money. I bought that drone. 
And that drone turned out to change my life. That one little drone as well. Because that was a drone I got to take to Hawaii, which you guys all got to see some of those epic drone shots for the end of my virtual escape. That was a drone that basically got me my job back in Colorado a few years ago in Boulder on top of a hill after I was fired by Jesse. And, you know, I, I was able to, to win my job back thanks to you guys. And, you know, that drone has a lot of value and meaning to me. And then even like last year in 2020, in the beginning of it, right before the pandemic even hit, I went to South Carolina to go film a documentary for Kid Behind the Camera, and I had some epic drone shots. I put that thing to the test, had some cool shots in the rain, which I think got used, and uh, yeah, the drone has a lot of meaning to me. And he goes ahead and he smashes it. And for me, that genuinely hurt on the inside. And at that point, I was like, what do I do? Because I, I initially tried with this kid, I initially paid his rent and I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. All I want is like to keep the things I've ever worked hard for always safe so I can always continue to use. And this kid just went out and destroyed my drone. I was like, well, damn, now what? It's all I'm you a want. ninja, you back the fuck up. I'm gonna smack this shit, I swear you, to God. You break it, you are buy you it. Deck chair or are you not no, deck I am not deck chair. <laughs> Hey, maybe you'll kick off on YouTube again, you fucking one-hit wonder. Ah, you have to fucking buy me a new one! So, that happens, him and Nick in a little scuffle outside, and then he does have the audacity to chuck a full Red Bull can at my car. I ain't scared of you, bitch. You're not scared of me? Fucking little pussy! Bitch that fucker! Where? Right there. I, I don't... see the can, but where did he throw it? He hit right there. Oh, dude, there's a little dent. There's a little dent. Is that gonna buff out? I hope. I don't know if that dent was there beforehand, but where he hit the car, there's a dent now. So I'm like, I don't know if this kid dent my car, and now that's more cosmetic body work that I need to do. I'm like, all right, whatever. I'm upset. I go downstairs. And uh, I'm legit trying to put my drone back together. I tweet a photo of it to DJI. DJI gets back to me like, hey, we can actually repair your drone. Uh, to start a case, come here. And I'm like, yes, get to keep my drone. They're gonna fix it. So I don't have to keep attempting to fix it anymore. And uh, yeah, next day I wake up, my drone's gone. And I find out Shallow incinerated it in the fire pit. You need a big fire. You need to add some fire starters to it. There you go. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, perfect. Ah, oh, yeah. That's nice. <laughs> oh no. Damn. Hey, on the bright side, I hope you got your SD card in there still, Swift, because you're getting some lit footage right now. <laughs> oh man. Damn. <laughs> Ah! Oh, I love the smell of Swift burning. Wait a minute. No fucking way, dude. No fucking way. There's no fucking way this is my drone. Bro. I'm trying not to get like the. Uh... It just smells like burning electronics. Oh my god, he. There's no fucking way. Bro, my camera. This is like a couple thousand dollar hot. Is it hot still? Still, bro. What the f? Bro, you gotta be actually fucking kidding me right now. What is this? That looks like the motherboard. For inside, you know, the drone. Oh my god. What do we do with him? Dude, I don't know. Bro, that's like strike 29, 69, strike 70, 100. I don't know, man. I mean, the fact that like, he smashed the drone now, and then, what, disintegrated it? That shit just ain't fucking cool, man. <sighs> like, dude, I wanted to forgive this kid after everything, but the drone, that was it. That was it. 
it, at that point I was just like whatever like it, it's it's over now like I need to figure out how to get rid of this kid and um, then it, then <laughs> eventually he would try doing a robbery prank on Nick and I as Nick and I are trying to figure out a prank to kind of just mess with him after everything that just happened and it led to a little scuffle that would end up uh, me spraining my shoulder which by the way guys my arms both of them feel a lot better now especially my right one so you guys know this was the shoulder I messed up in I think 2018 doing the front flip at Lance Seward's house and at that time that was a grade 3 sprain so when this happened I was fortunate enough it was only a grade 1 and they said hey three days minimum to be in there and you know, my arm felt a lot better not being mobilized like my other arm was. So it was immobilized, just chilling. And I was like, all right, cool. I'll just, I guess I'll just deal with this for now. It's been almost a week now. My arm feels a lot better. So I'm out of the sling, thankfully. But that would have never happen if he decided to not do a robbery prank on us in the house. At the end of the day, like, I do want to, like, be kind to this kid. I want to be nice to him. But, like... You know, after everything that has happened, Nick and I got together and we came up with a plan and, you know, it is what it is. We're, we're trying to evict him ourselves. Is it wrong? Yes. But is it right at the same time? Yes. And when somebody's destroyed a lot of your personal property that also has a lot of meaning to you, you would be doing the same exact thing. I genuinely wanted Shallow to succeed and... You know, he just mistaked my kindness for weakness and that's the last thing you'd ever want to do for me because like... I've been stepped on my whole entire life by so many people and it's like I've had enough and which is why what Nick and I are doing cool you know if you guys think it's wrong whatever for those that you would do the same exact thing hi welcome to the club and we'll just see what happens next guys to be honest um, if you guys enjoyed this video do me a favor drop a like on it hit that subscribe button turn on all notifications if you still like Shallow and you want to subscribe to Shallow, you know what? I'll be kind. I'll post this link down below in the video description. Um, so if you want to subscribe to me, go ahead. But guys, do me a favor. Please don't send him any hate. <sighs> you know, because then I don't want people to say, oh, Swift sending Shallow hate. Like, no, I'm trying to be kind here. After everything, put aside. I'm trying to be kind. Everybody, if you want to go sub to him, link will be down below in the video description. I don't even know why I'm doing that, but once again, using my kindness and it could become my weakness once again um so if you want to do that yeah go ahead uh just don't send hate whatever just you know try to educate him like bro what you've done is wrong like you are somewhat in the wrong for this and uh august 4th can't come soon enough um you know maybe we'll go down to florida and pay him a visit and be like ah oh, that was a prank ha 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 you never know until tomorrow, right? With anything else in life. So, guys, I love you. I'll catch you later. Well, peace.